If you're a garage band for Mac user, you're probably really tired of hearing about the latest and greatest sound pack releases on iOS. Especially as Apple hasn't exactly shown us Mac users a lot of love recently. The most recent iOS update, Keyboard Collection, is particularly fantastic, adding over 50 new instrument sounds and over 100 new loops. Well, I'm happy to tell you that it is possible to add all of those delicious new sounds into GarageBand for Mac, and you won't even need an iPhone or an iPad to do it. Hey, I'm Patrick, and welcome to the GarageBand Guide, where we're all about helping you master GarageBand and improving your music. The latest Keyboard Collection Sound Pack update is a bit of a strange one. The 150 loops included with the pack are all software instrument, or MIDI, loops. This means that they use GarageBand's built-in sounds and effects to play the loops pattern. So the 57 new instruments added to GarageBand for iOS in the Keyboard Collection Sound Pack are essentially 57 new presets that have been added to GarageBand's software instruments. Now, GarageBand on Mac and GarageBand on iOS use the same sound generators, for want of better words. They both use Alchemy to generate some of their sounds and stripped back versions of some of Logic's samplers for everything else. This means that as the new sounds added to GarageBand for iOS in the Keyboard Collection update are essentially presets for the same sound generator found in GarageBand on Mac, it should be easy to transfer them across platforms, right? The process here is actually pretty similar to the hack I demonstrated in a previous video, where I show how to add content from the Prismatica and Skyline Heat sound packs into GarageBand for Mac. Over in GarageBand for iOS, I selected a loop from the keyboard collection pack, dragged it into the workspace, and then closed and renamed the project. I then chose to share the project as a project, that part is important, and airdropped it to my Mac. Now, you can send the project file via other methods to here. Over on my Mac, I moved the file onto my desktop, right-clicked on it, and selected Open with GarageBand. I was prompted to save a version of the project in the GarageBand for Mac format, and once I'd done that, GarageBand opened with the keyboard collection loop and instrument intact. I did get a message saying the project had been created by a newer version of GarageBand and that it might cause issues, but hasn't so far, so whatever. So here is an instrument for GarageBand for iOS's latest sound pack in GarageBand for Mac. Pretty cool, right? To save the instrument preset, open the library pane, make sure the track is selected, and hit save at the bottom. When prompted, choose to save it where your Mac suggests, it's just easier that way, and you'll be able to find, use, and play the preset sound whenever you want by going to user patches and clicking on it. To save it as a loop, make sure the region is highlighted. Click on File in the toolbar and select Add Region to Loop Library. You'll be able to adjust the setup of your new loop here, and when you hit Create, it will be added to your loop library under My Loops.
Now that's one loop imported into GarageBand from Mac. But remember, at the top of the video, I told you there were over 100 included in this new sound pack. GarageBand for iOS only allows 32 tracks total in a project. So you would need to import multiple GarageBand for iOS projects in order to get everything. Actually, five GarageBand for iOS projects in total. It's not like I have anything better to do right now, is it? No, God, please, no! I filled five GarageBand for iOS projects with all of the loops in the keyboard collection pack and uploaded them to Google Drive so you can download them, open them in GarageBand on your Mac and save the presets and loops for yourself. You'll find a link in the description which will take you to a page on the GarageBand Guide website where you can download each of the projects. Click the link. Then click download up here. When downloaded to your Mac, unzip the files, save to your desktop, open with GarageBand and save a GarageBand for Mac version of the project. Then just follow the instructions from earlier in the video to save the instrument presets and loops. You can pick and choose the ones you like or save them all to supercharge your GarageBand for Mac instrument library. All right, if you wanna hack even more cool stuff, then give this video a click. In it, I show you how to add the Prismatica and Skyline Heat iOS sound packs to GarageBand for Mac. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.